the shooting of Michael Brown that occurred August 9th, 2014 in Ferguson, Missouri. It's a suburb of St. Louis. Brown, an 18-year-old black man. He was fatally shot. What that means is he was killed by Officer Duran Wilson, 28, a white, white police officer of the Ferguson Police Department. <laughs> the dispute of the circumstances. Shooting and the result of the protests and all the things that have happened, the civil unrest has caused attention all over the United States and the world for that matter. Now, we recently had a, a recent incident with Trayvon Martin. We know what this is. We're familiar with the tactics of the police officers in every city that we live in. Not only Missouri, in Chicago, in California, in New York, in Texas for sure. And all of the middle towns in between, we know and have experienced this not only in my lifetime, but for 400 years of my history. My ancestors felt this pain of disruption, of hatred, of uh, murder, of uh, uh, despite, of use and abuse. We have felt this for 400 years and it has not stopped as of yet. When will you realize that this is wrong? I mean, please tell me. Police officers around the world, not only the United States, if you had nothing to do with this situation, if you were there and you saw it, if you have any information pertaining to it and you said or did nothing <laughs> you are just as guilty as the man who pulled the trigger. We know that you have a uh, camaraderie. We know that you have a unity amongst the officers. Understand, we know that. And when something goes down, you band together. Listen to me, right is right. Wrong is wrong, whether you say or do anything or not. Please remember and understand this, that if you say nothing, police officer, if you say nothing, city councilman, if you say nothing, mayor, if you say nothing, governor, if you say nothing, president, when you know something has happened and you know it was not right, you are just as wrong as anyone else that were there who pulled the trigger. So if you don't say anything, you're just as bad as they are. Now if you say something, you may have an opportunity to help the, the truth of the matter. You may have a chance to tell the truth in this incident that occurs quite daily in America. You You have the nerve to, well, first of all, you, let me just say this. You can call me black. You can call me uh, African American. Yeah? You can call me Negro. And sometimes you get right out Andre and call me straight up nigga. Now I know this. And that's okay. I don't mind that. Because I understand who you are. My problem is this. Despite all that you've done to us and the ancestry, my ancestry, my people who have slaved and built this country, built the White House. They built the Statue of Liberty. Black people, you don't like us for some reason. I, you hate us 
for some reason, then why must you want your hair braided like our hair? Why must you want your skin to look like ours and you sit in the sun until you put near burn? And then you inject yourselves with Botox. Hey, listen, if I'm wrong, somebody stop me. Because the bottom line is, you do all those things, you want to look like us, it seems to us. It seems you want to be us and can't, even though you do have some of our blood, because I'm not going to even get into it, I'm going to say this. Regardless of that, right is right and wrong is wrong, and what you have done to the black race in my time, I'm not counting the time when you took us from Africa, you brought us from Africa over here to become slaves, to build all those things that I recently spoke of. We're not even talking about that. We're talking about your continued foot on the necks of black people. We haven't heard in the news that you shot any young white uh, male. We don't hear that. I haven't heard that in my entire lifetime. It hasn't become news. My problem is, if you don't like us so much, why do you do these things to look like us? And maybe it's because we're so athletic. Maybe it's because we have the ability to leap tall buildings in a single bound as they, Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant does on the court. What is it that you don't like about us that you love so much that you decide in your mind that you want to kill our youth so that they don't develop and grow and be what they are supposed to be on this planet. What is the problem with that? I do not understand, but I will say this. In your Bible, reaping and sowing is a powerful element. And whether you came over to Africa and said, hey, we're going to take this gold, this diamond, and this land, and we're going to leave you the Bible and you can get yours when you die. See, I don't subscribe to that. But okay, that's what you've given us. I, you've I led my people to believe that. Let them believe that. But I'm going to tell you the truth because I'm the Reverend Point Blank. And Point Blank, it's a sham from the beginning. It's a sham from the beginning, and you continue to do it while you murder our people in the streets. You have paid nothing back to us as you have claimed in your word that you would give us saying I will give you 40 acres in a mule as a result of all the things that we and that does not cover what you've done to us but you haven't done that and Martin Luther King died for that see I don't know Martin Luther King I don't know Malcolm X I don't know Kennedy but you know what I do know? I know what they live for and more importantly I know what they died for so today if I never met them in my life I know who they are who are you? Now this, whoever you are. <laughs> Shit. If you murder, steal, kill, and do the things that you know are not right, then you are just as guilty as anyone who pulls the trigger. We haven't done anything to hurt anyone. We're trying to survive like everyone else. I, more importantly, am an American. I am an American born in the United States of America under the Constitution of the United States of America. See, I believe that. But I don't feel free like that. I don't feel free like the Constitution says because some of your politicians, some of your governors, some of your presidents, some of your people decide you want to do it the way you want to do it in your area of expertise in your community and the people that you run what are we supposed to think when you put these things on tv that tell us that we're nothing that we rob 7-elevens that we are burglars and thieves when you don't tell us that we invented the red light the, the stoplight that don't tell us that we invented the elevator you don't talk to us about the things that we created to make the air conditioning that makes life comfortable for you to enjoy because we had to lift those things and carry those things for you and now that you haven't given us the cash nor do you give us the credit for what you have taken from us you want to kill you want to kill our youth so that there is no more of us 
help me understand that. I know that I'm going to die. It does not bother me. My mother's dead. You think I really care? My concern is that I live for something. Martin Luther King said, if a man has not found something he will die for, he is not fit to live. So I'll go along with your Bible on this point. You reap what you sow. I'll say it this way. I'm the Reverend Point Blank. Karma is a bitch. Have a good day.